We're learning more about a six-year-old Utah County boy in critical condition after being shot in the back of the head with a pump-styled BB gun. The sheriff's office says it happened last night at about 745 in the North Ranch area of Eagle Mountain, while the six-year-old and his 12-year-old brother were playing. Bob, a study published in the Pediatrics Medical Journal in 2019 shows us how common these injuries are in the United States. Researchers looked at 100 hospitals nationwide from 1990 to 2016. They found an average of 13,500 injuries from BB, pellet, paintball, and airsoft guns per year in patients younger than 18 years old. Now, lots of children and their parents think of BB guns as toys. But as Fox 13's Katia Collins reports, those guns can be very, very dangerous. The Utah County Sheriff's Office received an unusual call Monday night. Went off. Uh, the boy fired it. He thought it was empty, but apparently was not. A six-year-old boy shot in the back of the head with a BB gun by his 12-year-old brother, not knowing it was loaded. It was a, a direct shot, not an intentional direct shot. We believe it was accidental, uh, but uh, more of a direct shot. Uh, that apparently penetrated uh, the skin on his uh, head, and uh, he very quickly went downhill. The boy was then flown to Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City. Sergeant Cannon says the BB gun was a pump style BB gun, a style that often exerts more force. If you have pumped it 15 or 20 or more times, uh, then it, it may come out of the same uh, speed that you might have in, say, a 22 rifle. James Story, store owner and gun safety instructor, says that most people think they're not that dangerous. But there are some pellet guns that are designed today that are going extremely fast. The velocity of that pellet is extremely fast, meant for hunting. Story says that the same danger and safety rules apply when operating a BB gun as they do with any firearm. Do you keep it pointed in a safe direction? When do you point it at a target? Where is your finger placed before you're shooting? And when does the finger go on to the trigger? All to say, BB guns are not toys. Oftentimes when somebody's injured, we'll say, you know, they're hurt badly, but uh, but they're going to make it. And and that's not a foregone conclusion at this point. The boy was flown to the hospital around 8 p.m. last night and is still currently here. And of course, we will continue to bring you updates as we get them. In Salt Lake City, Katia Collins, Fox 13 News, Utah.